Hello, Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. And today we have an interesting session. And as you can see on the screen, the topic is differences between British and American English. So we are going to discuss about the differences between American and British English. And we'll discuss in short. And at the end, there will be a quiz. So you can participate in our this discussion, this session. And the end, you can answer your quiz. And if you want to share with us, you can share your queries or your questions or your answers in the comment section below. So now let us start today. OK, as you all know that English is the most widely spoken language globally. And it is an official language in 53 countries. It is the main language for global communication and the most popular among foreign learners. So like for other languages or like any language, English has many varieties as well. The best known varieties are British and American English. So we are going to discuss today the differences between American and British English. I request all my audience that you can write in comment and you can share your queries or questions in the comment section below. So now before we start our session, my question is that what are the differences between American and British English? So now let's see how many of you are writing in comment. You can write anything that what are the differences? Maybe I can share one example that there are differences of spellings of American and British. So now let's see how many of you are sharing your answers in common that what are the differences between American and British English? Okay. So up to now we have, we are waiting for your answers. Comment that what are the differences between American and British English? You can write and comment that what are the differences? Differences can be of spelling or any other thing so you can share. Okay, so now let's start. That first difference that we are going to start is British and American spelling. So till you are writing in comment, I'm waiting. So the first difference is British and American English is spelling. As you can see the color, so in British English, we write C-O-L-O-U-R, and in American, we write C-O-L-O-R. So these are the differences of spellings. And there are many others, like we can say that aeroplane, airplane, or you can see the difference of program or program, behavior, behavior, and humor, humor. So there's a difference. In British English, humor spelling is H-U-M-O-U-R. And in American, we write H-U-M-O-U-R. So these are the differences of spellings. So now let's start another session. Okay, after spellings, now we are going to discuss that these the spelling differences between British and American English also include letter changes and letter reversals. So sometimes there are you know differences of letters as well. Words are similar, but the you know there is a reversal. Like we can say in British English, there is a tire. There is a tire. And in American English, there is a tire, T-I-R-E. So we can see that there are differences of these two. OK, now let's see your comment. OK. OK, so. There are uh, these spellings are the differences of pattern. We can say gray, gray, analyze, analyze, theater, and theater. So you can see there's a difference of theater spelling. In British, we write T H E A T R E, and in American, we write T H E A T E R. So these are the changes, or uh, we can say letter reversal. So letter are reverse, means sometimes come earlier or then before any other letter. And the first was the spelling rule. 
so now we, we are discussing about british and american pronunciation yes so there is a huge difference that it works so british and american pronunciation is also they are different so there are differences okay so we can see in british english we can say car and american we say car r sound is you know more stress in american so if we say start so british we say star so there is r as you know star so r is not stress but in american r is stress is star so like new york but in american we say that new york r sound is here stress so there are other differences on the basis of grammar you can see that in british english we write i talk to jen so like uh, preposition there are differences we use in different way like british we follow british and in american they follow their own so i say i talk to jen and american says i talk with jen so these are the differences in our british we say monday to sunday we are using monday to sunday but in american they use monday through sunday so these are the differences now let us start next i hope the uh, screen is visible you can write in comment is the screen visible to you am i audible to you is it clear okay so now let's move on another slide okay american and british vocabulary differences yes so there are lot of american and british vocabulary differences there are different vocabulary words that are used in british english and there are other words that are used in american english so you can see like example in british we say high street but in american we say main street okay is the screen visible to you am i audible am i audible to you is the screen visible to you that i am reading american and british vocabulary differences write in comments so i can come to know is it visible to you yes very good thank you very much so somebody is written that well explained somebody is screen is blurred okay so we are trying our level best you can see that british and american vocabulary differences number one in british we say high street but in american we say main street the uh, same is the case in british we say car parking and american say parking lot so these are differences but even when i was in us i found that there are different uh, differences of vocabulary words they use different words for certain things like we british we follow okay. british english so we say car parking or car park but in america i noticed and observed that people were using parking lot in british we say flat in american they see apartment in british we follow we see lift in american say elevator and mostly we say university but they count is uh, college as well and they say college so the university they counted the same as well almost so this was the difference of vocabulary and now we will talk about this last difference and then we will have a quiz sometimes these words can be used in just one variety but a problem arises when a word is used in both varieties but with completely different meaning so for example as you can see that there are a lot of differences and we know that that Uh, we in british we say first floor american say first floor the word is you same word is used but in spite of it there are differences first floor for american and first floor for british is entirely change so in british english the floor of a building at street level is called the ground floor so we follow the british as i told you so we have a street level like you no know, we can say so we call it ground floor and the floor above it is the first floor so when we go up it is first floor when then we go further more up then it is second floor so we follow this pattern in british english 
But in American English, however, the floor at the street level is usually called the first floor. They call the ground floor, we can see the first floor, street level. And go up one floor and you are on the second floor, which is the first floor for the British. So for them, it is the second, we can see the first floor, second floor and which is the first floor for the British. So the same word like first floor, subway, chips, gates. So these are the differences. So now let's move on interesting discussion that we are going to discuss today, which is names of places in British and American English. So we are focusing mostly in today's session, names of places in British and American English. So you can see that there are lots of differences and Names of places in the city are sometimes different in British and American English. So we are today focusing on vocabulary. So if, uh, before we start, let's see that. Are there any comment? Okay. So now let's see that, that there are differences. So I'm going to start quiz. Can you complete our quiz with the missing verbs or phrases? The first letter of each word is given for you. So there are two sides. One is British side, left side, and right side is American. So the left side vocabulary is for British words, places words, and right side is American. So I am showing the first word, British. In British, we call it car park. I repeat, in British word for place is car park or we can say car parking. What is the word for American? What is the American word for car parking? I can give you a hint that there is a space you can see P letter is given of first word and L letter is given for second word. So now you have to guess which is the word for car parking in American English. Okay, so let's see and comment. Are you able to guess the answer? Okay. So up to now we are waiting for the answer. The first word is car parking. In American, we call it dash. But I can give you a hint that the word start with the letter P and other words start with the L. So who will guess it? Okay, so I'm telling you it is called parking lot. In American, we call it parking lot. Okay, in British, there's a word that starts with a C letter and you will find it. What is the answer? You have to guess the vocabulary word. In American, we call it movie theater. So what we call it in British? Let's see what we call it in British English. What we call it? Okay. Second word in British start with the C letter. Now you will tell me which is the word. In American, we call it movie theater. Okay, let's see who is writing in comments. Okay, let's see the comment. Is there any answer up to now? Yes, thank you very much, Iftakhar Brohi. Iftakhar Ahmed Brohi, thank you very much that you are writing exceptional explanation. Thank you very much. Okay, so can you guess the word, Iftakhar, if you are listening to me? In British English, we call it, the word start with a C letter, but in American, we say, movie theater. So which is the vocabulary word in British? What we call it? What we call it? The letter start with a C. Try to write. Okay, let's see anybody who has written in the comment section. Okay, let's see. Okay. Sanima. Okay, somebody has written Sanima. Thank you very much. So Cinema. Correct answer is cinema. Okay, I'm waiting for all the audience that who are watching us. 
So kindly write in comment the vocabulary words. This is just like you know, interactive session. We are going to share the vocabulary words. Okay. So now let's start with the third word. The third word in British we call it city center. And what is the word in American English? I am giving you a hint that the word start with the D letter. The word start with the D letter. In British we say city center. And what is the American word? So this word, this word was even new for me when I was in the US. So they used to use it. Mostly when we go, uh, we went from one place to another. So they use this word. So the word start with the D letter. Let's see. Okay, city center. Any guess? Any idea? What is the word for city center in, in America? American word. Okay. Any idea? Okay, so city center is called downtown. It is called downtown okay so the next word fourth word, fifth word is in british we call it pavement and what is the word in american english in british english we see pavement and what is the word in american english now you have to guess it we are speaking british english we follow the word pavement the people who walk on by uh, foot so they use pavement so what we call it in american english the words start with the S letter. Think about it till I'm looking at your comment section. Okay. Any idea? Okay. So it is called sidewalk. Now six word in British is P that is start with the P and other words start with the S. It's very easy. In British, we know, and in American, they say gas station. They say gas station. So can you guess this easiest word that we mostly come across on daily basis, mostly? And I'm giving you a hint that we use for vehicles. Any idea? In American English, we say gas station, which is a word for British English. In British English, what they say? And the words start with the P and other words start with the S. So these are two words basically. What they call it in British English. In American, they say gas station. What we call it in British, in our language. Let's see the comment. Okay, so let's see. I'm waiting for a comment. What we call it in British English. In American English, we say gas station. So what we call it in British. I can give you a hint, the word start with the P and other words start with the S. Okay, let's see. It's easy word. Okay, so it is called petrol station. Is it clear? I hope that we uh, most often use it, this word. Okay, in British we say shopping center. Mostly we do shopping, we go to shopping center. But in American, they use another word. And the word start with the M letter. I can give you a hint. The word start with the M letter. I'm waiting for your comment. That which is the word that we use for in American English? In British, they say shopping center. This is the most easiest word. Let's see in comment. So I'm waiting for your comment. You write and we will share your answer the results let's see so up to now we have okay so let's see okay so what is the answer it will be mall okay number eight word in british english it will be easy for you because we are following british english so the word start with the S letter, but in American we say grocery store. So what we say in British English, think about it. In American English we say grocery store, what we call it in British English. Any idea? This is the most easy because you buy daily 
on daily basis the things around okay so in american english we see grocery store which is the word in british english the word start with the s any idea okay so we see it supermarket we we call it supermarket okay so number ninth word in british we use underground the next word is underground in british english which is the word in american english again hint is given the first letter of that word is s so now you have to guess it which is the word in american english in british english we call it underground so i'm waiting for a comment let's see how many of you are sharing your answer in british english we call it underground and what we call it in american english what we call in american english so which is the word for underground in american english okay any idea okay so these are the very easy words and i'm waiting for your answer so what we call it in american english underground let's see there might be comment okay good to see that you are still waiting okay the word is called subway the word is subway okay now the last word which is the very easy word this word is very easy word that we come across on daily basis the british word that start with the u with the start letter is u that start with the letter u and in american english we call it college so which is the word for british what we say college in you know british word what we call it that start with the u letter and in american they call it college so this is last word and i'm waiting for your comment let's see that how many of you are sharing okay so the word in british start with the u letter and in american english we call it college which is the word can you share okay so the word is college and we follow it it is university for british okay so this was our test and you can see the answers as well parking lot cinema downtown chemist shop sidewalk petrol station supermarket subway and last is university the fourth word that was start the c letter and in american it is called drug store so this is chemist shop so i hope this is clear and you like our presentation our session and we will have more sessions soon and with that we end our this session thank you very much i hope you like our session and we will have more session write in comment that how was the session and was there uh, any queries so we write in comment we will share it in the next session inshallah till then allah hafiz thank you very much